Now under the Smart tab, we'll see Scenes and Automation. So scenes are like states that you can put your home into. So the default ones are home, away, wake, and sleep. To activate a scene, you can click the play button next to the scene and it will indicate which scene is active by changing the color of the icon to green. Now to define what each of these scenes can do, and click the pencil icon. So this lets us set a custom name, a custom icon, add it to our favorites, or define what group it belongs to. Then under the behavior tab, we're going to define what happens when we activate the scene. So under this default example, we have a behavior that will automatically disable the alarm associated with the alarm strategy effect it went away. So to add a new behavior, we click the plus button, and then we can select from a number of different options. A device action, which will allow you to change the state of one of your active devices. A delay, which of course introduces a delay in the automation. An alarm strategy, which lets you update one of the alarm strategies, as we saw before. Notification, which allows you to send a custom notification. You can define which alarm strategy you want to use and then define what content you want in the notification. And then finally, you can use a filter to continue or break a current behavior. So this acts as more of an if-then sort of statement. You can define a condition to where if that condition is met, then it will continue to another action or break and stop all actions after that point. And as you can see here, now I've divided them into two separate groups. That's that group function we saw earlier. You can also click the history icon here next to the check mark and it will show you when that particular scene has been activated or deactivated. So we can think of a scene as putting your house in a particular mode and activating a one-time automation. 